the helper team is is amazing uh, in every way. Uh, we've got some really dedicated people. We've got some really like they will drop everything they have to help us with things, and uh, it seems to be working for us. And are you able to say some of the other names that you like say could be potentially called if you remember? Those? Um, Just one or two, even if you like, if, if you can. Those. What is the future of Galaxite? I don't know. So you're saying that is the biggest leak you've got? Yes. All right, lads, welcome back to the Inside Minecraft podcast, the podcast revolving around everything inside Minecraft. I am Insane Orbits, and sadly today, I don't have any co-hosts. There's no Jake, because I think he's editing or doing something to do with schoolwork. And yeah, I couldn't find anyone else to co-host. But we do have a guest today, uh, a very, very special guest, actually. Not a content creator, uh, not a friend. Well, I'd like to say we're friends, right? Yeah, yeah, we can say that. The owner of, a, I, I, I guess I should say co-owner, co owner of Galaxite or are you are you the owner of Blockception or Galaxite? I mean Blockception owns Galaxite so technically Blockception so there's no owner that makes of Galaxite then? Well, Blockception is the owner, technically. Yeah. And you and... Uh, Jonathan. Jonathan, that's what um, I was going to say, John. You and Jonathan own Blockception. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's basically it. So do you want to introduce yourself a little bit better than that by, by rather than me asking questions? Do you want to say who you are, what you do kind of thing? Yeah, um, I do kind of like the day-to-day -day operations uh, for like Galaxy and Blockception, kind of more of the creative standpoint and just kind of the overall vision and direction of the server. That's really it, I so, guess. So you're the, you're the reason for why Galaxy looks like what it does today. No, I'd say one of the reasons. It's more like a high level, um, high level position. So it's like kind of figuring out the direction, and then everyone else in the team helps figure out the details and adds their own kind of flair and 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 opinions and style into things. Oh, so, so I'm just like. We need a new hub and it has to be this themed and then they make it look like the way they think it should look and then we do some tweaks together. Oh, so you set out the blueprints then, you could say? Yeah, yeah. M more like more of like a rough outline as opposed to like, this is exactly how this looks. Oh, that's pretty sick actually. So how did Blockception come to be then? How exactly did that become a company? We were one of the original partners invited to to the marketplace. So we, we, we had Blockception for a while before the marketplace. Um, and we'd done a bunch of things in the Minecraft community over the years. And we got invited by Microsoft before it was announced. And we were able to produce one of the first pieces of content on the marketplace. And then that kind of snowballed into this. So you were originally... So before the marketplace, you were invited to be a company on the marketplace, you're saying? Yeah, correct. So then how did Galaxy come to be then? Did they just like your marketplace work and ask you to make a server, if you can mm -hmm. say? about this like why why did you become a feature server and how did that work um it took a lot of convincing so i had a few meetings with microsoft in seattle well um, you flew out yeah yeah it was it was during like a meetup um oh geez. and w i pitched them an idea and they liked the idea uh but we needed to show proof that we could commit to what we said we were gonna do so that took a few more <laughs> like a year or two more yeah. um and we convinced them and they said, great, uh, we, we had a proven track record, we'd worked with them before. It was a big risk on both ends and I think it's uh, paid off. I, I, I gotta say, and this isn't just to like sugarcoat, uh, not sugarcoat, so like buy you up. Galaxy is amazing, we're, we're, we're now on season 6, which we will get to talking about later. This isn't just going to be about you owning Galaxy, we are going to get into some interesting details about the server itself. But Galaxy is amazing, you, you're averaging like up to 1k players now, aren't you? I mean, sometimes, uh, <laughs> during peak times the weekend so uh, it, it's slowly going up proportionally um i know that there's like less players on the server at the moment than they were when we originally launched because of covid and and everything else but we're still sticking around to the same player count that we've kind of usually been at uh for 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 long periods of time which is good especially that there's less people currently playing on the bedrock servers and it's definitely something so, yeah, i'm proud of yeah. we're happy with that so so you so you're saying that you to get on the marketplace you're like so they didn't come to you about you actually went to microsoft about wanting to be a server yeah to get onto the server list we, we went to them um yeah we we, we went we went to them and it, it, it was it wasn't like oh yeah great 100 percent do it it was there was a lot of work to, to even get to that point there was a lot of demoing and showing and a lot of meetings it wasn't just yeah 100 percent we like you guys put it on that we, we had to prove to them why we should have been a server compared to anyone else i obviously it's not to this extreme but i guess that's kind of like being a content creator on your server we kind of have to show you why you should pick us as a content creator not as like not as much as you had to do i imagine to become a featured server but like in basic form i guess it's the same right kind of yeah but as as content creators you guys can apply um we you can't really apply to be a server um at least from my understanding it, it, it is a very complicated process um and 
there's a lot of money involved in terms of being able to set things up properly. So not anyone can do it, unfortunately. So would Galaxi have existed as soon as it did or even existed at all if you never went to that meetup in Seattle? I mean, yeah, it would have. Um, it's just it was a prime opportunity to do it face to face as opposed to being online. Yeah, Sometimes the older best, yeah. the older negotiation, like negotiating ways are better where it's like you're not over a computer or over Zoom or Microsoft Teams. It's definitely a great opportunity then, and you took it. So was that just you or was uh, Jonathan there with you? Everyone was there. Um, so it was a team effort. Oh, oh, Blockception, like the Blockception team were there. Yep. Oh, yeah, I keep sorry, I keep forgetting the Blockception owns Galaxy. And so so you start off on the marketplace, you become a server, and then Blockception is still on the marketplace and now uploading content, right? Yep, correct. And then you own a featured server being Galaxy. Yes. So what's it like owning Galaxy then? I, I can I can imagine it's like you're you're quite busy all the time, like owning a server. I imagine that's is that like your day-to-day -day life? Like do you have weekends off or like are you full focus on it between Monday and Friday? I mean, it's pretty much all intensive, right, from everyone. Um, technically, I'm working two jobs because I've got the Blockception stuff as well, of course, uh, which yeah. is kind of an independent team, and, and Galaxy as well. So it's, it's kind of split between both. Like, we, we, we share the same communication channels, uh, so it's easy for me to jump around. Um, but there isn't really a weekend with this type of stuff. Like, there's a lot of work we still need to do. The developers uh, get kind of their weekends off or whenever days they want off, etc. And where everyone else, but it, it is a 24 7 job for a lot of people. Um, and I mean, I'm greatly appreciative that they are around to be able to help with things. Quite a big as team much as, they are. as well, yeah. Yeah, we, we kind of need it. Um, I mean, we'd love to go bigger as well. We've been playing catch up for a long time, is, is, what, is what we feel. Um, and we're finally getting to the point where we're happy with it, the way things are going in terms of uh, from a server experience. So, uh, Hopefully, we can start refining things soon. So, obviously, you get stressful. I, I'd be very, very surprised if you just say you didn't get stressed about it. But, like, is it everyday stress or is it just like you have a little, I guess, burst of stress? I mean, it depends on the all. situation, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Well, when a new, okay, let's say uh, two weeks before a new season is releasing, is that really stressful for you? No, I think two weeks is still pretty calm. I think it's the day of, which is, which is a problem. Um, we, we take the server down for X amount of hours to make sure things go well. Yeah. But we, we, we do run into issues. Um when which, perfect. It's not it's not even being perfect. Like we we're not comfortable with a, a lot of our issues are based around kind of purchasing and just general play experience and we need to make sure they're not issues. Yeah. Um when when we go live because I don't want to launch a season and you can't purchase the battle pass. I don't want to launch a season and half the people that are buying a battle pass don't receive the items. So it's all kind of really extensive testing to make sure things work and double testing and that you know and, and triple checking things as well so it's just that's why they take a while yeah, um, right. though they can be improved we are a bit slow on that are you i'm assuming you're working towards improving that though because i i know the last update you guys closed the server like 3 p.m and it didn't come on until like 2 a.m the next day which i'm not saying is a bad thing i'm not i'm not like trying to throw shade at you here because of it like so don't take it the wrong way i'm just saying like it did take a very very long time for the new seasons to come out which is understandable but do you think you could have done better in improving that or was that always going to take that long what we should have done is not shut down the server so early and actually, because because when the, when the server was ready, ready, it, it was fine. We just found some bugs that required us to do a bit more work to fix. Um, and the reason for that is a lot of our bugs are caused by scale. Yeah. So if it's just me testing the thing, if it's just one of the devs testing the thing, it's fine. The second we get 50 people online, that's when we start finding the issues. Oh, okay. That makes so, sense. So um, it could have been mitigated with a, a bit more testing. But we felt like we shouldn't release it until it was in a state where we could get, for example, 50 people on without any issues. Because more issues will appear when there's 100. More issues will appear when there's 1,000. And then, you know, 10,000. And it's just trying to find kind of the middle ground. We didn't want to delay the launch again. So uh, a lot of people stayed up very late getting it into a, as much of a good state as possible. So, but have you not, I know you have the server helpers and stuff to help you, but have you not thought about getting beta testers for these new seasons just so they can log on and like do what you like wanted to test here? We don't need that many people to see the stuff. Like we, we, we try to keep our things under wraps. The server helpers do an amazing job and they understand exactly what we're trying to do. They, they know when things are broken and when things aren't broken. When you start getting a bunch of testers in that have, maybe no experience in testing or are, are, are kind of young, we start ending up in issues where we're getting a lot of double reports, false reports, and that makes things a bit more hectic. Yeah, that's so, fair enough, yeah. 
so, so it's the helper team is is amazing uh, in every way. Uh, we've got some really dedicated people. We've got some really like they will drop everything they have to help us with things, and uh, it seems to be working for us. It's maybe we should have uh, tested a few days prior in a more extensive way. I assume there's a few guys I help us this into this. So if you are, Alex loves you. He, he adores you guys. So it's really, it's actually really like that's why that's one of the things I love about Galaxy. And I'm not saying other servers aren't like this, but I know the owners care so much about their stuff. I'm assuming that's the same with all feature servers. But with you guys, like I've seen, like I because I'm a partner and I talk to you guys. Like I talk to you behind the scenes. Like I I know a lot about that kind of thing. It's really nice to say. Okay, so yeah, uh, I mean, I, I can't talk for anyone else, but for us, it's like we, we've got a very tight knit community, and it's important that communicate with them so before we move on to like the next topic i just want to touch a little bit more on box search and galaxy uh before i miss this opportunity so where did where did the idea or like i will talk about block search first and we'll go on to galaxy after with roughly the same questions uh where where did the idea inspiration and name for block section come from it's so long ago it's a bit <laughs> it's a bit if hazy you can't remember it's fine uh, if you can't remember that's good no i i generally can't remember i know that the logo was made by one of our members uh, I think it was a bit of a joke from like the Inception movies and stuff. Yeah. And just trying to figure out a name. And that's like, I wonder what we could, you know, it's block Minecraft. It could have been Pixel or something, right? And I was like, right, we'll go with this temporarily. And it kind of just stuck by mistake. And I was like, oh, okay, we kind of stuck with this now. Okay, so what about Galaxy? Do you remember that by any chance, the name for that? The yeah. Uh, yeah, so th there were three of us that were kind of trying to figure out a name for the server. And what we did was we each had a meeting. This was like a year, year and a half before the server even launched. Yeah. Um, because the code name for Galaxy at the time was Blockception Technical. Oh, okay. Um, just because we it was it was just a placeholder. Um, so when we decided to finally let stuff for figuring out a name, what we did was everyone came with ten ideas, three of us uh, of, of potential names, and we put them all in kind of like a list, and we wanted to see if any overlapped, and none none did, of course. Oh, okay. Um. So from there, what we did was we each took three names that we liked. Uh, and then we put them into like a uh, um, kind of a list of like a, a finalization list. And then from there, the three out of all of us, the one name that we picked, like in our three top three, was Galaxic. Even though that wasn't necessarily the top, it was just the most common one. So we thought, okay, we'll go with that. And we brought it up to everyone else and everyone else agreed. So then we, we, we decided to run with that name. Can Are you able to say some of the other names that Galaxic could be potentially called? If you remember that. Um, just one or two, even if you, like, if, if you can, that is. I uh, um, I think one was like multiverse. One Ooh. was like yeah. One was like, but but it, the search term was a bit all over the place. Uh, another one was like the core. The core's cool. But we really were trying to find the .dot com domain as well. So that was also like a a requirement as well as like social medias and and, and that type of stuff. We'll, we'll we'll make sure that like the names were available as well because we don't want to be like an obscure name. <laughs> I think Galaxy like, is very standout worthy as well. Like with multiverse, there's now the new movie Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, so yeah, I've exactly. been very like tied up with that. And then the core was like the core as in the actual core kind of thing. Like so, you know, they would have been very mixed up. So Galaxy like, was like out of them three, I do definitely prefer Galaxy like, a lot more. So I'm, I'm glad you guys went with this one. As it was definitely a good name. Um. So yeah. so did you think of that name then before you approached to be on the uh, to be a feature server? Or did you think of that after? I think it was after. I, I can't remember. I know we had a deck, like a like a presentation. Um, Microsoft were aware that we were working on one for a while. Yeah. Um, and it was just, it wasn't a for sure. It was like, listen, this is what we want to do. We're working on it. When we have something to show, we'll pitch you the idea. And they said, okay. So we started doing the server for like maybe like a year before we even pitched it to them. Jeez. So you had the so, server ready then, pretty much. Well, not ready. No, but like, no. The idea of it ready. Kind of, yeah. So it was just like, it was a risk because they could have just said no. And then we wouldn't have launched. Like, fundamentally, we wouldn't have launched a server if we weren't going to be featured. Really? You weren't um, going to be a non feature server? No, 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 no. There, there, there wasn't a point for us. Um, oh, geez, fair point. It, it, it would have been difficult for us to even establish a player base. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, you know, we, we pay money for this stuff. Like, we, we've paid a lot of money for this stuff. Like, I can imagine. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's not hobbyist, let's say that. Um, so you, you are looking for specific certainties when you are putting a substantial investment into things. Yeah. So and you think it paid off then? You think it's worth it? I think it's paying off, yeah. Um, I don't want to go too much into the detail, but... No, I don't, don't need to go uh, too much about the money. No, no. Yeah, there's there's always room for improvement. And eventually you improve that. I mean, you got you got to remember, Galaxy has only been around for coming up on two years, already two years, is it? 
Yeah, you know? exactly. So it's, it's like Coming very, it's still fresh. Like it hasn't even been two years. Whereas like other features, I was like Hive and Cubecraft have been around for about three or four years. They've been there since the release of feature servers. So that's what you mean by playing catch up, I assume. Yeah, I mean it's not even that. Like I think we were the first server for a very long time to come from a build team. Oh, um, okay. So whereas the other servers had previous experience on Java. Yeah, we Java, didn't have a Java, Java server, Java. so so we fell into I think a lot of the traps that they wouldn't have fallen into because they just have more experience. Yeah, that's fair enough. But you so we're still, kind of, oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, but mind. we're still we're still learning. Like it's, I'm hoping that you know, like we don't think we're better than anyone because we just don't have the the experience and we're just learning on the job. So we, that we do make mistakes and we do try to rectify the mistakes as fast as possible when we make them i think that's the best way to be though you don't really want to like even in uh, your everyday life is i've never seen I, i've never liked the people who think they're better than other people i don't know i i just like i just like i never thought i was better than anyone else kind of thing i know I, you probably didn't mean in that sense but like either way i still yeah. respect that you know Speaking of Galaxite's past and how exactly it came to be, uh, let's talk about its presence. So Galaxite Season 6 is just released. It's not as fresh as like it was about a week or two ago. It's still very fresh though. So Season 6, uh, I'm guessing, so for this, once again, I'm guessing you set the blueprints for it. Yeah, so it's it, it was a very kind of like big change for us. Um, it's the first time we've changed our hub layout since we've launched. Yeah. So... We, we we usually have this kind of this a similar layout um every time uh, for every season for the every hub change theme. that we've done uh yeah well yeah so it, it it's the it's the circle in the middle and then the podiums around and then the oh, shop areas in the same place and stuff got you, yeah um we decided to change it um so there's no big battle pass display anymore um there's a few more i guess shop slots um yeah. but and the distance between things has changed you know we've added in game specific shops etc uh we're trying to go for more of like this community feel uh as opposed to this kind of like oh you're on a minecraft server feel so that's one that answers one of my questions of what the idea behind it was then yeah it's a bit, like we've had some very big hubs we've had some very small hubs uh we've had you know stuff like from carts to bikes to jet skis they were sick. yeah i enjoyed those <laughs> they're fun but they're, they're they don't really add to the experience as okay. much as we thought they would so this is the thing that we're saying like sometimes simpler is better so we've kind of just done a big u-turn on everything and we're we're trying to go for this kind of more detailed and kind of um nice looking hub where it, it is smaller and it is a bit more intimate with with the players so what's the idea behind the theme then because it's obviously you switched up the theme a little bit more completely so why is it different this time You'll find out more about that in the future. Oh, so there's more to come. So there's lore that this is leading to. Everything that you've seen on the server so far has lore, and it has been building up to something else. So How long before we know that? Can you say or no? No, uh, we haven't been. All, all our updates uh, from even the minor ones um, are working up towards something. And there is a bunch of lore that you can explore on the server. The wiki team has done a great job in term, kind of transcribing and trying to guess what happens next. Uh, though I'm not going to confirm or deny anything on there. Um, yeah. It's it is interesting if you do want to like dig into deeper things. Like there is a lot of stuff going on. I think you might remember a vault. We had a vault for a few seasons. Yeah, the demo um, open. Yeah, I mean, th there's a reason for that still. So everything kind of makes sense and it will make sense in the future. So ever since Galaxite begun then, have you had this idea of what you want it to like? So for the law wise, have you always had this idea from the very start of what you want the law to lead to? Or did that come 100%, around about season one, no, season two? No, no, 100%. We, we've always like known the direction we want to go into and we've been working towards that direction since launch. Can I ask how many seasons you've planned ahead then? Like, so from season one, had you already planned season six? Um, no, so we don't plan seasons uh, that far in advance. We roughly know what type of game we want to release during these seasons. Yeah. And kind of like what updates we want to do during these seasons. But it's not good to always stick to the same plan. It's, it's good to be flexible because things change, trends change. Uh, you know, l listening to the player base and making things change and adapt them to make sure that you get a better play experience are all things we have to consider. We kind of roughly know the direction we want to go in. It's just, we, we know where we want to end up and it's just kind of trying to work our way towards where we want to end up. 
I guess I'll be a little bit more precise now then. Uh, so uh, yeah, so that is what I wanted to know, but I guess more precisely. What about the law then? Have you planned the law for seasons? What did you plan the law for seasons? Like I said, it's working backwards, right? We know what the final product is. We know right. where we want to go. We decide kind of like as we're going along what we want to reveal. So by final products, do you mean like end game, like the full end or just the end of a thing to lead into something else? Think of it like a, like a book, right? <laughs> I mean, like think of each... You know, each season as like a part of that book. So a chapter, right? Kind of. I, I wouldn't say chapter um, because we haven't really told much yet. Let's just say it's leading up towards what's next, like a saga, like a like like it, like a series, right? Could Almost. you say like Harry Potter then, for example? Like, there's definitely Hallows Part One, then it leads into definitely Hallows Part Two, or is that kind of yes, yeah. it, it, no, exactly, kind of like that. So we're still in kind of like the definitely Hallows Part One, and there's going to be a Part Two exactly that is interesting so i want to know more that I, I i know i'm intrigued now i'm intrigued to see where this goes one thing that we wanted to do when we made the server is that we want like blockception has a very big background in storytelling with a lot of our maps and like how can we visually uh, what's uh the name of tell two things people? um oh, sam and danny sam and danny, sam and danny. that's it because yeah, of that yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love that i played that it was really uh, good and because of that we want to make sure that we kind of we wanted to bring that into the server because there aren't many servers that have gone into law so we we decided that that would be kind of our one of our unique selling points and people are getting invested it's just that it's hard to get invested when you don't know where it's leading so how did people find out about the law then like did like staff drop hints or like did yeah, we, drop, we, uh, we drop hints there's secret things in games that you can find that hint towards things like a uh, uh, vault like a piece of paper with just vault seven written on it yeah that was in chronos, on it i think so i think it might be in rush uh, uh, I was in chronos uh as well, though. there's signs that pop up every now and then there's if you go on our discord and you check our announcements we have uh, different people announcing things from Orby to Chipstick to myself or Gwen. There are hints posted into the messages. There are hints posted all over the place. Uh, we even did a bit of like an ARG game for Hyper Racers where you had to kind of figure out what the problem was and you'd get access to the, the Hyper Racers trailer early without context. Awesome. So it's there's, there's a lot of these like hidden little things, um, though some things have not been found yet. So th there's always a chance that someone might stumble across something new. The uh, the season the season six uh, sorry not season six. Um, so what about people who missed the law in season one? Is that on the wiki by any chance? Or like how like what about people who just didn't try to find any law in season one? What if the, like is that just it's gone under the radar? Is that missing from season one? No no no. So there's there's a whole there's a whole wiki dedicated to law and the law between yeah, all the seasons. Yeah. So people can just read up on it. So is there has there any ever been any law missed from any of the seasons? Like you said, there's still a lot to be found. Like, is there any like lobbies that so, like law has never been found in them? Law isn't season specific. It's when it's found, it's added. So you can still find all the vault key stuff. You can still find things from pre that were introduced in previous seasons. It's if you think you've missed something, you can just scroll back up on the Discord and, and, and read about that stuff. Well, what I meant is, so so did you guys mention that there was a massive vault in the lobby then? In your announcements? Yeah. Oh, okay. So oh, so so that would, so if you didn't, so that's what I meant, sorry. So did you know like the vaults aren't yeah. in the lobbies anymore? We give a bit of context uh, with our announcements for our change log and our updates around the bigger ones. Yeah. Um, before we go into detail. So it's kind of like an introduction, um, which will contain snippets of law. A perfect person to watch for change logs would be Bacon Buddy, wouldn't it? A hundred percent. If you wanted to know everything about that, Bacon Buddy is the news guy for Galaxite. So just give him a little yes. bit of promotion there. So with uh, so with season six, we've talked about the law and stuff like that. What about parkour builders? Why why is that the new game for Galaxite? I don't know how much I can give away. <laughs> I there's, so, there's a reason. Can you, there's can a reason why, why we do anything. Can, um, but why parkour builders? Why not like a PvP game? Why why this? What could we do as a PvP game that's not in Playground or Core Wars or Rush or Kronos? Luckily, like, I don't own a server, so that's not my concern. Uh, uh, okay, so, well, not PvP game. I just meant like why? Why? Because I'm sure you have a few game ideas. I imagine you have a few more game ideas. So why did you pick Parkour Builders for Season Six? There are mechanics that we needed to explore inside of that game. There are concepts that we needed to explore for things that would be coming out in the future. Is creative one of them by any chance? Mm, maybe. <laughs> I do find yeah. that pretty cool, though, that I can go into Parkour Builders being creative and then I go back into the lobby, I'm in survival mode. Yeah, I mean, Parkour Builders was about just giving people as much, like, a, a bit of ownership of the server. You can have and leave your mark on the server. Could you? Um, oh, yeah, sorry. Look, it, 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 it's yours. It's, it's your little corner. And we try to make it as 
safe as possible. So how does the, how does the review to that work? So like if someone does a bad build, is it just based on people reporting that bad build? Yeah, so it, it's, you know, one thing that we did from launch uh, was in kind of like in-game reporting. We really wanted to make sure that was a good way for us to communicate with our players. Um, we didn't have a big staff team at the time yeah. or a big helper team. Um, and it was really important that we were protecting our player base from inappropriate things uh, and as well as kind of griefing and hacking so when you report someone there's there's a new like report um option now called like report inappropriate build um and then that will flag up in our ticketing system a helper can go check it out and then they can remove it from the public view Do that, um, does that player get banned or no warnings? they can remove it they can remove it without being banned um but and, and then the player will be notified. Um, however, they can be banned from just building any parkour from themselves. Oh, but they won't get banned from Galaxy just from building. Yeah, it's we, we call it just a parkour ban. Um, That's pretty cool. So though. they can they can still play the parkours and, and interact with the game and stuff, but they just will not be trusted to have access to building anymore. If if you're allowed to answer this, are you able to ban people for specific game modes? Like, is somebody able to be, play uh, Chronos but not play Rush? No, because we don't. We have a zero to like tolerance policy. Oh, but it just doesn't um, apply to fully to parkour builders, I guess. Yeah, exactly. So um, it, it's mainly around hacking. Um, if you hack on our server, you'll be permanently banned. Which is if good. We find out, if, if, if we find out you're hacking, you don't get a 10-day ban. You don't get a 15-day ban. You don't get a 30-day ban. You get permanently banned. Why is that? Because someone that hacks is probably going to hack again. And I know some people going to... We had pills telling us, oh, I didn't know, I didn't know. <laughs> but for you to hack on a server, you are intentionally going to do that thing. It's yeah, not yeah. a mistake. It's you are purposely doing research, downloading tools, etc. You know, potentially risking your computer and your data as well because you don't know who, what, or what's in these tools or who's done what uh, to specifically cheat. It's not bug abuse. It is specifically cheating. Yeah, that's fair enough, yeah. So it like it's 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 intentional and actions have consequences. And they get permanently banned, which I, I respect that. It's a really good idea. It's very sick actually, and I, I quite like that. I think other servers could use it that. But so with um so with parkour builders, uh so seeing how just build, not specific servers, just just build as a whole, there's also there's always a lot of inappropriate builds. So with parkour builders, I'm assuming like you expected this to happen, but you still chose to go through with it. Was that because like you you knew that it was gonna be a small minority doing inappropriate builds, or did you just really want to do it nonetheless? It's hard to access builds that are bad on parkour builders unless you are purposely searching someone's name. So there's no like public listing. Yeah. It's it's done it's done via I wanna play a simple parkour or a tricky parkour or a difficult parkour, which we call pro, or a, an extremely hard one, which is impossible. Yeah. Um and there's there's a waiting system that depending on how many people like or dislike things, um, they will appear more often. So naturally it's kind of almost self moderated. If a player doesn't like a parkour, if they can't complete a parkour, if if there's something inappropriate, they can just press the downvote button and eventually it will come out of the cycle. So is my parkour not in the cycle then? Because that's a really bad dislike ratio. I, I, I mean, it depends on how many people complete it, right? So people can still find your parkours by searching your name. Yeah. Regardless. Um, it's just that more interesting parkours, more better rated parkours will float to the top, just like YouTube videos and recommended. Yeah. Um, and the, the least liked stuff uh, will float to the bottom. We'll, we'll drop, sorry, not float to the bottom. We'll sink to the bottom. Um, and we think that works. So I'm building a parkour right now, which is like very, very, very advanced. And I, I, I want to say it's almost impossible to be. It's like nowhere near done. It's going to be a lot to it. I'm not going to give any leaks to it. But I'm going, I want to say that it's going to be impossible to be. So say like a, a hundred people attempt that and none of them complete and it gets a hundred downvotes. It gets a zero thing. Even though 100 people have not completed it, does it not get put in impossible because people disliked it? It, it will get put in impossible. Uh, it will get put in impossible ranking because it's difficult to complete. Um, however people can like it and it will go up just because a parkour is hard doesn't mean it's not fun remember that so it's it's finding the balance right at the end of the day you could have a simple parkour that everyone can complete <clears throat> people hate it because it's boring um there are creative ways to make your parkour difficult and fun at the same time but what if you that make it be... dis difficult and not fun so people dislike it so does it not flow to the top no if it's difficult and not fun why would it go to the top because it should be impossible. It would be impossible. And, and, and impossible car for parkour can still be fun. Just remember that. It depends on the person who's playing it though. Because some people might like my one. Or might, some people might find it boring. It really just depends on how determined the person is to be it. Now the staircase one that was boring. I understand why it's got a lot of dislikes. But I mean the one I'm building now. Yeah I mean the staircase one was a complete troll. And people have a laugh for a bit. But to, 
to run around it for how many minutes like 16 minutes 16 minutes, <laughs> without, yeah. making, without making a mistake you know that was dedication like because you physically have to go through the pain that you have to go through right no, so but I didn't realize you could cheat it there's actually a way you can cheat it to finish it quicker like 30 seconds quicker so you don't you can skip a layer which is annoying but it's what it is still it's a long time to commit to uh to, to a joke <laughs> yeah. so it's it, it's all opinionative right so some people might find the joke really funny some people might find it distasteful you've yeah. got to cater to the audience it has like 34 percent dislikes <laughs> so you know so, like the yeah. dislike ratio so did you because that, that actually leads on perfectly into like another question around this topic uh, did you ever see parkour builders taking that route like of P i i knew there's always there's always going to be troll and funny ones like my staircase one but could you ever see it like mine isn't parkour it isn't part then you have to do a few jumps to do it quicker but it isn't parkour did you ever see it taking that route yeah yeah 100 percent. like uh we find it really interesting uh how creative people get in like we're building mazes and uh kind of like puzzle rooms like escape rooms yeah um using the mechanics uh, they're, they're like super interesting and we, we allow them like fundamentally a person has to start and finish their uh their, their level that they create the, the parkour that they make so for us there isn't an issue with the type of content that's appearing there someone could build a house for all i care right at the end of the day there's no way to advertise that stuff really is there so it's it will make sense like the, the system thankfully automatically just sorts itself naturally by the players and player votes so it doesn't matter like it, it generally doesn't matter what people build in there um in terms of like the levels they want to make etc because eventually the good ones will go to the top and the ones that people dislike will go to the bottom that that's basically it so just to quickly touch a little bit more on that there sorry i, I kind of we we went over it early, earlier but i want to be a bit more precise here so say say mine gets like so say mine is like has a few dislikes yeah but it has a zero percent completion rate does that not help it getting pushed higher to see if someone can beat it it will go to impossible yeah but if, will it not get pushed higher if it has a lot of dislikes even though zero percent have beat it no 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 no. if it has a lot of dislikes compared to likes just like anything else it's not going to get recommended to people oh, you've okay. got to think of it like, like, like youtube, like YouTube. Yeah. yeah just think of it like youtube so could we ever see parkour builders getting a name change then like is it always because i know like because i i think it'd be really sick i think i heard someone talking about it as a recommendation i can't remember where i heard it from but like, the idea of like a dropper a dropper mechanic where like i suggested in suggestions like certain blocks make you die it's like a drop a mechanic where you have to fall into something will there be stuff like that in the future added to parkour builders or can you not say i mean i don't think i'm, I'm not sure about a name change it's still very early early days but those mechanics we're probably going to call them mechanic blocks so we, we won't be implementing redstone um yeah that'll make it added. too laggy won't it i mean we'll be added i mean you can already see we already have the launch pads right yeah, like i've used uh exactly like and, and people have like come up with some amazing stuff like so I've, I've seen someone come up with an auto parkour. That was like, Callan, things... wasn't it? That was Callan. No, no, no. Like, no, 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 not Callan. So someone, else, someone else did it. Like an auto parkour where you just spawn and you do nothing and it just lets you complete the parkour, which is really fun. Yeah, Callan um, did that so, as well. <laughs> so we want to add a few more blocks, uh, which uh, allow people to get creative. I think if there is a day where things get a bit out of hand with the type of games being made, then we will adjust things. But at the moment, it's still too early to tell. I I would really like a find the button feature if that's possible. That'd be pretty sick. Like I didn't like find the button. Like you have to do parkour, but find the button. And that people yeah. could get really really creative with that. And I'm not like I'm not gonna take credit for it if it gets implemented. Because I'm assuming you've wrote all of this down already. I'm just saying that'd be a sick idea, and I'm sure a lot of people would agree with me on that one. I'm sure it would be like it could be like a. Uh... It's almost like a private server, right? Where you get to make your own games on them. That'd be really fun, yeah. Will the arena ever get bigger? Because uh, like, I know it's quite big, but do you think... Will there be, ever be a thing where people can purchase a bigger area to build? Or There is already a thing um, that is exists. It? Oh. Uh, it's not out it's not out yet oh, but okay. it's, already, it's already implemented that's why you have a regular size you can get like a large size and there might even be a small size and an extra large size we're still figuring out how we're going to release that if that's going to be via a purchasable via mine coins because you yeah. have to remember the uh, or as well as like extra slots and stuff it's physically cost us money to store your levels yeah so you gotta yeah. make money back somehow so we need to make some money back to be able to pay for those levels now it's not a lot of money but it's it's, it's physically gonna cost us money okay yeah so th there will be some mine coin purchasable features but nothing that will be unquote pay to win nothing unquote that would be uh uh like not accessible to the players right so it, it, we, we won't release 
at least I'm, I'm going to say this, you know, please don't quote me on this. Like there won't be a, a block called um, dropper blocks that will be sold for mine coins. I get that. So, so I guess speaking of purchasable stuff, then uh, just the last section of this topic before we move on to the next thing. So we, we've been recording for quite a while now. This is going to be a very long podcast, but I don't mind. Hopefully people enjoy listening to it. So where did the idea of the battle pass come from then for uh, thing? Because uh, like, I think I, you probably might have answered this so many times. I'm sorry if you have. But I, I guess I just want to hear. So what 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 is the idea behind the battle pass? It's a very short answer. Are you ready for it? Go on. It was a trend that was out when we were developing the server and we thought it would be a good way for people to interact and earn items. So why'd you keep it if it's no longer a trend? Or is it still a trend? Still a good, it's still a good way and it's a very common practice now within game to allow people to learn earn like earn items. Um battle pass is very kind of like generalized term now but other games are now including season passes etc which are very similar are <laughs> in you every happy way. you jumped on that trend or do you regret um i wouldn't know what else we would have done if if, if that's the question we, we want yeah i guess that yeah like I, I wouldn't know a better alternative anymore um we're not allowed to do loop, loot boxes and stuff right so that would have been a trend we would have probably used instead but, but microsoft th- doesn't some, allow it it's not microsoft i think it's more apple um Apple? Why Apple. would Apple... Apple... It's, it's classed as a form of gambling, loot boxes. Yeah, when yeah, you had but... To put real money, it's like FIFA packs. Uh, FIFA packs are banned in Belgium. You can't buy FIFA packs yeah, because yeah, that, uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's classed as gambling. You need to, like... So I think for Mario Kart, they, they made it so that the only way you could buy it was you had to list every item and what the chances are of getting those items in that boxer. Oh, jeez. Um, so it, it, it becomes, like, a, a very complicated hole, which, personally, we don't want to encourage kids... To gamble so we we're staying away from that wait why did why would it why would apple be uh why why where does apple come into play here i'm confused i'm really apple unlogical. apple have terms and conditions that state you have to list the percentages of all the purchases and the items etc oh are you talking about because of people who buy on iphone play minecraft on iphone any game any app any loot box things on iphone yeah oh so yeah that's why i was confused i thought you were talking because i was talking about minecraft as a whole yeah. but i guess because of mobile players yeah okay that makes more sense now but uh, yeah i know um, like gambling is a uh, like I, i'm pretty sure it is a microsoft role as well like you're not allowed to gamble because no other no other server has it i wouldn't anyways. i wouldn't know unfortunately Oh, I, well, okay, well, it, it doesn't matter either way. But so there, there's no, so loot boxes would have been an idea, but would have never actually happened. Yeah, I mean, it would have been a good alternative, but at the same time, looking back at it now and, and stuff is, is a good thing we didn't do those because it's a very uh, slippery slope. Yeah, so the battle pass is a perfect option then. Yeah, you know exactly what you're going to get. You, you know, you get to earn the levels, etc. You, you know, because it's all vanity and nothing's paid to win. You know, we now allow you to buy them or buy XP boosts in the hub because oh, cool. it's basically like you can decide to buy the vanity item by buying a level as yeah. opposed to anything else. It just makes sense. You, you know exactly what you're going to get. And or you can earn it. earn it yeah exactly that's pretty good yeah. I, I like that feature anyways and what about what about the idea of seasons on galaxy then because uh like was there an idea behind that or was it just so you could keep it's changing because of the law you naturally know when we're about to update and come up with a big update if i say season five is ending everyone knows that there's going to be a big update the next season yeah new game yeah. new lobby yeah, I mean, I mean, it could be any of that stuff, right? It could be none of that stuff, but everyone knows something fundamentally is going to change. It, it it marks the end and the beginning of the next thing, right? People yeah. get excited because they know something big is going to change. It's very much like a, a way for us to separate our updates in, in a very roundabout way where we feel like chapters close, new chapters opening, right? Like It's, it's like uh, knowing that in September, you're going to start a new year in school. And things will change you mentally prepare yourself for it like you, you know it's going to come you know it's happening you're aware of, of what's happening and when it's happening so that's why it's like a promise so we know it's going to happen kind of thing yeah like you know it's definitely going to happen so why not it rather than look forward to it yeah exactly because i can imagine it's great to like say like this is talking from me personally say like three months down the line or two months down the line, i'm getting a bit bored of parkour builders i'm like within the next i, I can't remember how many months it is between updates sorry but i, can, I just know within the next few months there is going to be a new game coming soon guaranteed or a new season coming from soon guaranteed yeah a new, new season for sure yep. exactly, exactly. So. what well, uh, so actually no so yeah I think, I think that's perfect to move on to the next thing now then actually because we're talking about the future so we talked about the past of Galaxite, uh, we talked about the present of Galaxite, so now let's talk a bit about the future and a tad bit of the present because I don't know why I've made season together but whatever. So what is summed up here, and I'll kind of ask questions from it, what is the future of Galaxite? I don't know, I can't tell you. <laughs> 
You can't That's say anything. No, no. I mean, it's it's all up for debate, depending on the way the players feel, things are going to go, like the way trends go in real life. Um, it's definitely going to stay within Minecraft, but... I mean, what what do you think the future is for Galaxy? I think that's a better question. I guess I'm interviewing you now. So how about this? So can I can I do it in the form of I ask questions and see if I can get an answer out of you? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So uh, next season, is there a new game? I don't know. You can't. Okay. So I'm assuming that every single season isn't going to have a new game. Why would you assume that? Because at one point, say you get to season ten, I like unless the player counts increase dramatically. I personally can't see Galaxy having ten different games. I mean, we've got more than ten already. How many games do you have now? You've got Core Wars, Rush, Playground, Parkour Builders, Chronos, Hyper Racers. Inside of Playground, you've got Field of Gaps and Prop Hunt. And then inside of Playground, you've got Duels. You've got uh, uh, Dodge. Was it Dodgeball? You've got um, Kit PVP. You've got Hyper Racers Battle. Yeah, there's more than ten already. No, okay, well, okay, I mean, like, but that's no, <laughs> but that's like game modes inside of game modes. I mean, like specifically in the lobby, you look at the NPCs as six or seven game modes for six seasons, right? In like just yes, yeah. So that so what I mean is like I can't imagine there's gonna be. I mean, I could be wrong here. There could be a bunch more for every single season. But like, can you not give me anything about the future? I mean, what do you think is gonna happen in the future? That's the better question. Uh, so you said there's a. What more, would you like to see? What I like to see. Oh God! Why are you? This is my podcast. I'm interviewing yeah, you. It's mine so now. why is it? <laughs> you just <laughs> taken my podcast. You own the podcast. Inside I Galaxite. Um, exactly. Okay. It's Evident mentioned this on his podcast. I, I don't know if you can do this or not. Creator codes. I don't see why not. Is it? Is it? Is it an idea that's been put down? It's a bit more difficult to do. Um, yeah, of course it is. I didn't say it was easy. It's a bit more. <laughs> it's, it's a bit more difficult to do in a, in a meaningful way. Makes you it or... depends. Okay. Yeah, it, it it really depends. Like I think it's definitely a a possible thing, and it's something that we have debated. And as you know, we do have a code system that can be redeemed, etc. That we could really exactly. go yeah. into. It's just how would you disperse the money? It becomes very complicated when you're dealing with a global audience when you're a local company to a specific country, right? We're, we're not a global... Galaxy isn't a global company in the sense of a uh, monetary <laughs> standpoint. We don't have banks in all, all over the world, etc. We're not an Epic Games. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, so that's where things do get a bit more complicated. Okay, so what about influencer merch? But, like, it's like, like say, the influencer signs a contract to say, yeah, we can use your merch on our server. Like, not, not about them getting profit from it. But, like, influencer costumes or, like, that kind of stuff, like, hub titles and stuff like that. What about that? 100%. Okay, so so you said influencer stuff. What about tournaments for creators? Is there going to be more, like the, like, the Summer Blast tournament? Are we going to see any of that in the future? It depends. Um, Cause I have a good idea for it, like, how it can be I'm sure it, Oh, I'm, 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 sure, I'm sure everyone has a really good idea. It's just that... It depends, right? Um, is the reason why the tournament was fun and popular because there was an actual tangible prize pool at the end? Is the reason why people wanted to look at it because they wanted to see a Bedrock tournament? Or is it like because of the way we kind of like formatted it, right? It's It took dev time to do that stuff. Dev time costs real money. So yeah. even if we were to do it for free, you know, like without a prize pool at the end, it's going to cost us money. Regardless of what we do, it's going to cost us, cost us money. It takes away attention from future updates, from our larger projects and our larger ambitions, right? For us, it needs to be worth it. It's mutually beneficial, right? We can give you guys content. We can give you guys money. Uh, we can give you guys X, Y, Z for these large organized tournaments. However, some people didn't upload videos. Some people didn't shout about the videos. Some people weren't able to turn up for various reasons. It's difficult for us to justify doing these things if we're not seeing results from it because it is real money going out right um that they're fun yeah, yeah, exactly. but it needs to be financially viable and there are there are really simple ways that can be done by people by you guys to make sure that this does happen again if you want to hear them yeah go on let us let us know and i can definitely tell people about this make videos make videos because you're having in fun general, and enjoying them or yeah just make videos oh, okay. exactly oh, oh, in, in, in general get the name out there get the play account up more players usually equals more sales which can also justify things yeah uh that's the, the fundamental talk about galaxy have fun with it but do it genuinely you know don't do it because you're forced to or you force it you think it's going to give you views etc do it because you're actually having fun 
the more you talk about, the more people that you can convince and 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 the, and the player bases to come on the server, the more justifiable these things are for us to do. And it, it is an investment, right? We we invested in you in that tournament, you as in the influencers. It's it goes both ways. So you guys have to invest in us and trust the stuff that we're doing will benefit you guys over time. And that's right? essentially why I'm making this podcast because it's not because I, I I feel like I had to. It's because I wanted to. I wanted to talk to you, and this is perfect. Like I'm getting what I want here, kind of thing, and I'm enjoying exactly. doing this. And and it's going to make a great podcast exactly so fundamentally you guys want to we'd love to do another tournament and we might be doing another tournament who knows it's just a case of we need to see our return in investment and that could be through time that could be through money that could just be through shout outs that could be from discussions where people are actively being a, coming to the server the server is growing because we rely on influencers we re rely on good words and um and just fun experiences it's 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 difficult but it's it's a case of like not even the influencers we rely on players and their friends and them inviting their friends on because they want to generally enjoy themselves on the server right yeah. um you know we are one of the smaller servers on bedrock edition uh for, as a featured server list um and things are difficult and can get difficult right but the only way things are going to change is if the community decides they want to change it we can do all the updates we want in the world. We can introduce all the fun games in the world. We can introduce uh, all the features that everyone's asked for. But fundamentally, if you're not playing on the server, if you're not inviting your friends, how will things change, right? Yeah. Exactly. So it's we try to accommodate as many people as possible. But the way things will change and the way we can do cooler things is by having more players. See, with this, I can actually say that I relate and I can relate because I posted two tournaments um, and both of them were charity tournaments. That was my idea. When I said earlier about the idea, it was just like make it for charity. That way then it's nice. Yeah. But obviously, that's also not profitable kind of thing, even though it's for a good cause. But like I posted two tournaments, both giving away, uh, giving away, uh, donating £100 and $100 to like each one. So one was $100, one was £100. Then I also had to pay for like it to be done, all that kind of stuff. And I didn't profit from like either not even close to making profit from it not even from the videos just even a stream like donations went towards the charity didn't make any profit on the videos and that kind of stuff so i see what you mean about that like it has to be like you have to do especially being a feature server it's kind of different for me because i work a job on the side as well as well, i work a job and i do youtube on the side so, so like i can it's not a big loss for me kind of thing but with you guys being a server you need it to benefit you in a way that like you're like okay at least if i can make some of that money back kind of thing or like get more players from it, I guess. Exactly. It's not about making money back from it. It's about how does this benefit the community as a whole. Right. That's why I said both. Yeah. Like it wasn't just yeah. one thing. But I, I like it's the same with everything. And I said it's on the Toe Piggy podcast. I don't know if this is going to come out before or after. That. I hope it comes out before. It depends when when I can edit. But like you can do anything for fun. But if you're earning money from it, that's always going to be an aspect. It's not about earning money. It's the fact that we want to expand the team. We want to do other things. And to do that, you need money. money. Helps. Exactly, yeah, that's money what I meant. Helps. Like, I, I, yeah. when I say earning money, I mean, I'm, it's very generalized. Yeah. I don't mean for a specific reason. I mean for stuff like that as well. Yeah. Uh, but mentally, we're a business, and businesses can thrive or they can collapse. Um, you know, it's a shame that we've seen a very prominent server and community unable to continue. But unfortunately, it's the truth of business. Like things go sometimes go well, things sometimes go bad, um, and it's just trying to adapt and uh, find ways through it. Okay, so uh, just one. This is going to be a very small section compared to the other ones. I'm going to do this, and then if you still have time, Alex, I have a few Twitter questions to ask mm -hmm. you. If that's okay. So sure. this is the last thing, quick. It's very small. I just want to see, and even if you want to say something very clickbaity and just follow up with this is not true, just I can use in hook. That's completely fine. I would rather something true. Do you have any leaks? Any leaks, please. Something. On Twitter or for or for this. Um, okay, um, so do do you can do if you want to you can do a fake leak for the hook and you can follow up with this isn't true just so people know it isn't true and then give me an actual real leak that I can keep in the podcast or I can bleep it if you want you can give me a real leak for myself and I'll bleep out so people don't get to hear it it's completely fine uh, the thing is we're very open with what's coming out like even we've even announced pets we've announced kind of the, the challenges etc yeah I think wait challenges what's I, that yeah uh, there'll be weekly uh, weekly and daily challenges oh sick yeah oh, so that, cool. that that was that was announced um the pets. there is a new okay uh, i can give you that leak there is a new currency coming to the server relatively soon what is that going to be out after the podcast is that going to be announced after the podcast yes okay all right cool any other leaks anything there's anything more oh, it's hard uh <laughs> uh 
come on. A new game mode for the next season? Uh, <laughs> Confirm or deny that there's going to be one? Who knows? I don't know. I, uh, I, I, I don't do this stuff. Um, it, it's difficult. <laughs> okay, all right. It's fine. I, I got as much as I could. I'm, I'm going to yeah. say something quickly just for the hook. So you're saying that is the next biggest leak. There you go. Perfect. Yes. All right. Cool. Oh, wait. No, I didn't know you was going to follow with that. Hold up, hold up. All right. So you're saying that is the biggest leak you've got? Yes. Perfect. All right, cool. All right, we'll end it with some Twitter questions now, Alex, because uh, I don't want to keep you for too much longer, but I do appreciate you sticking around and all this kind of stuff. Actually, sorry, I do have one more question. Um, will there be... Uh, I, I was meant to ask this in the last section. It's just you don't have to give a long answer for this one, just a quick one. So we saw a YouTube sponsorship in Potato Pie when you announced it, and he is, I'm pretty sure he's been the only YouTube sponsorship there's been. Uh, is, there, is there ever going to be any more in the future, or is that something you can't say? Or is it just you saw it wasn't profitable and it's going to be just not going to happen again i think there'll be more in the future um but it really depends on the people producing the videos um with with potato pie he was producing videos that we really enjoyed um and that's why we decided to go with that however yeah. it's okay it's a case of we want a lot of the videos to be kind of natural because there's a lot of legal things going on you need to this video is sponsored by you know galaxy so these videos won't be going out to uh, like all opportunities won't be going out to people that don't produce videos on us yeah um if if someone is producing videos and they are getting views and we go right that's cool we're going to sponsor a video of us because naturally you already make videos of us they're performing well we want to help you because you've been helping us is that consistent um, videos or is that like once a season it's consistent. consistent we have a minute we have a minimum for our influencers uh which is it's like once a season but yeah. like i said it's 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 all about weighing things up if if we think we if you give us the platform you know like to show off our stuff then we'll give you a platform <laughs> just like Simple. the tournament then if you give us yep. our players we give you the tournament Perfect. it's not even players because it's, it's more of a like uh make us known yeah oh well, that's fair enough okay so uh the twitter questions now actually this time um i have two twitter questions for you here because there was three but one of them we've already answered so uh well roughly plus uh it would be too long anyways so the first question is from swimfan72 and it asks what is the best and worst part about developing as a partnered server owner so like best as a best. featured server i get i assume they mean yeah um we have to do certain updates for certain times um due to minecraft updating um and sometimes that can be quite difficult to do in a very short amount of time so is this the worst um, part i assume yeah yeah okay. so we had to cut 1.18 support due to some we call it technical debt some some shortcuts we took very early on yeah and we had to make adjustments uh, and that's why uh, we ended up supporting 1.18 versions slightly afterwards compared to the other servers we, we, we need to prioritize that we support the newest version of the game yeah okay so that's and the worst part what about the best one it gives us a platform to show our stuff and we know people are going to come and see it and we know it's it, it's not easy like i, I, I want to make that clear like even if you make the best server in the world and you're featured you're not gonna instantly get success but it's nice to know that there is that chance that people will see your stuff regardless of if it's good or bad do you enjoy it like this isn't a twitter question this is just following up from that do you enjoy it like do you enjoy the grind of like getting to the top a hundred percent yeah like it's you know it, it's very much a case of really, it's not about the destination it's about the journey yeah uh, so as long as you feel like you're progressing and getting closer i think it's definitely fun that's fair enough yeah. um so Oh, screw it. I might as well just ask this one. I said I was only going to ask it. I might as well ask it. Um, so this one is from Nexon928, and we've briefly touched on this. So if there is one, what is the design philosophy behind Galaxi updates? Diversity. Yeah. How can we engage as many people as possible? We have a PvP community that enjoys the PvP games. However, we can't make every game about player versus player. Fill the gaps um, on top. Yeah, like it's it's very much a case of kind of like I mean even building gaps is technically player versus player by the way because you're still even parkour builders player versus player right is a player going against a player like PvP isn't like necessary combat right yeah exactly um, it's you know all our games are designed to be multiplayer because it's a server it's just kind of like there's so much more than just one individual playing one game over and over again um, and it's kind of figuring out how does that fit and how will that fit with our future plans. So like I said, it's always working backwards, right? We know where we want to end up and we know where we're going. And every game that we've released has helped us. And every feature we have released has helped us 
get closer to that goal. You don't know it yet, but it will make sense in the future. I like that answer. I'm glad I asked that question now, actually. That's a really good yeah. answer. And the final Twitter question is from... Oh, God, I'm going to... Is this right? Melodic Cat Girl. Oh, I don't know how to say that first word. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm English. Like, I'm Anyways, um, when are you next taking over the Galaxi Twitter account? Uh, I don't know. Gwen took it away from me, because... You did a really good <laughs> job. I feel like that's quite unfair. Gwen's, Gwen's in charge of that stuff. Uh, she was away that day, unfortunately. Um, and... Uh, you did a tad bit of trolling. I, I I took over the Twitter account. <laughs> I think it, I think people enjoyed it because it's not common. Yeah. I think if it was a common thing, um, it would get very boring very quickly. Hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, so maybe on special occasions where she will let me have the passwords, but until then, um, Gwen does an amazing job with her stuff. Uh, it's it, it it will get better as well. We, we're definitely looking into increasing the. Uh, uh, our social media impact and stuff, um, but at the moment I won't be taking over it anytime soon. Did she change the password? No, 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 no. We, we, it's just <laughs> a figure of speech. We all know the password. It's just. Oh, okay. You just can't use it anymore. Yeah, you're banned. Well, uh, yeah, it's it's better that I don't. <laughs> I feel like it would have been funny though if she changed the password. Like you just tried to log into it again and you just kicked out. A hundred percent. That would be uh, fair enough. Yeah, but I mean, you did a great job. You, uh, you, you. Um, it was very, very funny seeing some of the leaks. The uh, white glitch was amazing. The Galaxi uh, white glitch. Uh, <laughs> I was <a> problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, I'm, I'm glad people picked up on that. Really? Yeah. Wait, picked up on what? Oh, on the white glitch instead of the oh. purple glitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's pink glitch? Did you say purple glitch? A uh, pink glitch. Sorry, pink my bad. Glitch. You're so... Pink glitch is still around, you know. I I've never gone on Galaxi though. Ah, uh, you will if you play a bit more. So, it's, it's, it's uh, um, many people have covered this topic already. So, yeah, we're not going to get too much into it. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, Alex, you've been an amazing guest. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. I think, sadly, sadly, we didn't have a co-host, but I think it's been really good just to back and forth hear me asking you questions and you answering them. Did you have a good time? Yeah, I mean, it's my podcast though, right? Like, we, sorry, we discussed sorry. this already. Yes, did you yeah. enjoy hosting your own podcast today? 100%. Thanks, guys, for listening to my podcast. I'll be back next week with another video with my co-host, uh, Insane Orbits. Cheers, guys. Thank you. And uh, check this out for more Minecraft news. In all seriousness, before we end, though, do you actually want to come back on a future podcast, uh, like, say, for, for the next season? Do you think you'd come back on again then? Yeah, why not? It's a bit of fun. It's a bit of fun. I enjoyed it. All right, do, redo the outro. You can do the outro now. I'll keep that last one in, but you can do it again here and we'll end up. Yeah, thanks guys for uh, well, thanks guys for listening. Hopefully, you see a few more updates. Um, do check out the server if you're not a common player. Um, and you know, if you like it, fantastic day. And if you just check it out for a few hours, that's great as well. Got any promotions for yourself or like where to find Galaxy Block Section yourself? Anything like that? Uh, I don't really need to promote myself. I think people kind of know who I am at this point. Uh, at least so people famous. that are interested in to enter this. <laughs> I know you're so famous. Uh, <laughs> check out Insane Orbit's YouTube channel, which is also my YouTube channel. I'm taking that over as well. Yeah. Cheers, guys. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, lads, and we'll see you next week with another podcast. Peace. Mm -hmm.